Good morning, Reefers. I'm Daniel. This is Coral Lust, and today you guys are looking at the Red Sea Reefer Peninsula tank that we have set up here, and we are looking to get this thing running. So we picked out our lights. We are using the Ecotech Marine. We are using the new Pros, the Gen 4s for over this tank, and we're going to be using the light bar to hold them. So we decided to go with the singles, the XR15s, so we'll have four of them over top of this tank. And we're gonna give it some water flow. We're thinking about doing two MP40s, one on each side of this. And then I am thinking about putting a gyro or something across the back of this. Now, since this is gonna be a mixed reef system, we are gonna need a lot of flow. We're gonna try to create a perfect environment so we can have SPS, LPS, zoanthids, um, and everything else. So we will be having sand in here and we're using dry rock. So one of the products that we are looking at, uh, I'll show you guys just as we're coming up with some ideas to set this tank up, is, you know, rock and sand is very important. So when you're selecting your, your substrate, you really want to know what you're going to do with your tank ahead of time. So right here, we're looking at Carib C. And just to kind of give you guys an idea of the different types, you can check this page out. Now, I did have in my last reef tank this awesome, awesome, unbelievable black and white sand, but the black sand was magnetic and stuck to my algae scraper all the time and eventually scratched the glass. So that is something I'm going to stay away from this time. I don't want any magnetic sand and the white tends to reflect the light a little bit more, brightening your tank. Now I like a lot of caves and a lot of rock. And usually those rock scapes tend to block out some of your lighting. So having a, a sand underneath a light colored helps your tank dramatically brighten. So we're gonna pick out something. I want a little bit of um, a finer substrate than I'm normally used to. I just don't want anything chunky. I like my sand looking smooth. Um, it's nice to have the mixed crushed shells in there, you know, but it's, it's all personal preference really. The MP40s tend to create a huge um, current and they can blow your sand around. So if you go too fine in a mixed reef, um, you may end up regretting it, especially if you have gobies and different type of inhabitants that tend to spit your sand all over your corals. So, so that's just something to think about. And one of the other things, I'll show you guys the Marco rocks over here. Um, I no longer like bringing in live rock just because of the pest issue and it's just something I've been trying to avoid after getting a bobbit worm in our tank, if you guys um, haven't heard about that yet. So live rock does carry some issues with it. That's why going dry is a little bit better. And I like to set up the rock before we fill the tank. So you're gonna get to see this happen. We'll videotape it as we're doing it, just to give you guys, you know, play by play. But this marker rock i've looked around and this seems to be some of the best stuff i've seen so far so if you guys are familiar with some other brands please feel free to share them in the comments below but it's got a very natural look which i like i was debating on creating a custom unit that was going to be pre-molded but the natural rock seems to seems to be a little bit nicer so that's what we're going to go with the marker rocks and the carib sea sand and the Ecotech lights, and that tank should start to come together pretty quickly. So we have over here, these are our frag tanks. We're bringing over stuff now today, just so people can come in and um, see what we have to offer. We will be getting in more corals later in the week. So as we continue to set up these systems, you guys will start to see more and more unfold. But temporary, I'm just gonna throw this in mixed and put all the euphilias and chalices and <laughs> everything in this tank for now just because you know we don't have our overflow boxes yet for the new sumps and all that stuff so we're still working on that but that's your update um thanks for watching as always we are going to do this red sea unboxing next so you guys can stay tuned for that but i just wanted to share with you this is our monday update um and let you know what you can look forward to fish coming into will also be uh, hopefully this week we'll have freshwater fish in and then saltwater fish probably next week. But for those of you who keep following us, thanks for watching. As always, happy reefing. Until next time.
If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up and share it with a friend. And thank you for being part of the Coralus community.